Hello everyone, in this video, I am going to show you that how you can display HTML data in your front end using meta field. So actually the problem is like I am interested to display a table. So that is of course using HTML and uh, I wanted to input that HTML in my uh, meta field so that whenever I am uh, using it in the front end, it should display a table. So let me show you how you can do it. Firstly, you should go to the dashboard of the store and here you can see settings. We have to click on that, click on custom data, click on products and uh, click on uh, add definition. So in the front end, let me show you how it looks like right now. So I wanted to display a specification below. Uh, there you should have a table. So firstly, you should have to add here the name. So I'm going to add specification and then it will create a unique name custom dot specification and you need to select here multi line text and then after you should click on save once the changes are saved then you can see that we have this specification here so i am going to add this meta field in my description so i have to go to the code here is the code so i have written here product dot meta fields dot custom dot specification and I have also put a condition like if that is not equal to blank. So then it should display here. Okay. So let me see here if you are refreshing this page. So this is actually the product page and you will find out that here we have a specification uh, input box where we can actually put our uh, HTML data. So I have this HTML table. I'm going to copy from here and then going to paste it right here. You can see that all the HTML tags are inside of this and then you can you can uh, click save. So it is saved now and if we are seeing on the preview, so let me refresh it back. Here we go. Now you can see that we have characteristics. If we are clicking on it, we have a table here. So that's how you can actually display it on your uh, Shopify store front end wherever you are interested to for example on product page collection page or any other page. So that's how you have uh, you can solve this problem. So I have solved it. So I thought that I need to share with you if you are facing any issue or something you can directly contact me I will help you out in that. So if you are if you are new on this channel then please subscribe this channel also like this video and make sure that if you have any new feature to develop or you have any problem in your store so you can ask me i will help you to solve that problem so thank you so much for watching this video uh, you can follow me on instagram tiktok and facebook and uh, you can also join a whatsapp group which i have created for uh, all my youtube family so thank you so much once again see you in the next video